physical therapist. Oh, excuse me, I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist, and what are we going to do today, Brad? You're always reading, aren't you, Brad? Yeah, I like to keep yeah, up with it. Intellectually is. We're going to talk about the ACL, and I'm going to make a, a little bit of a confession here, Brad. I have not treated a lot of people with an ACL tear. I've, I've treated probably a dozen sure. over my career, but it's not like some of the other things where I've treated thousands of people. Right. I don't know, how many have you treated? Oh, I'd say about... 10 to 20 as well. It's, uh, you know, okay. I don't get a lot of them, but I tell you, they turn out good. So, and I, I wouldn't say we're not experts, but we, we have enough knowledge to give you uh, to some of the basics on the ACL. Oh, absolutely. And there's a lot of information on the internet about it. And what we thought we would cover are the things that are best demonstrated by video today, rather than going over everything on the ACL, just some of the things. Yeah. Yep. First, let's talk about what is the ACL. And, and uh, it is a, a terrible injury to have, unfortunately, because it is one of the main ligaments of the knee. But the ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. Anterior means front. So there's actually, there's a ligament. Ligament, by the way, let's jump down to that. Ligament attaches bone to bone. So right here we have the femur bone, which is the upper thigh bone. You want to show them that? Sure. Now, if you look, Bob's not the most creative and uh, curious artist, but we actually have a model of a knee here, too. We'll, so do, we'll go into that, too, Brad. So, don't jump ahead. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. So, anyway, this is the femur. This is the tibia. And uh, there's four main ligaments that attach those together. But the anterior cruciate ligament is one that, again, ligament attaches bone to bone. It actually... Cruciate, let's jump ahead to that, actually means cross. Did you oh, know that? Mm. Like crucifix. I did not know that, Bob. Crucifix, did you hear that? Yeah. So cross. Mm -hmm. And these two ligaments, the anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament, which means back, actually cross each other like this. Right. It is. It's just very interesting how they name things. If you break it down, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. sense. But again, there's only four li main ligaments, so there's also a ligament here and a ligament here. We don't need to know the names of those. But, uh, so when you take out any one of those ligaments, especially the ACL, your knee is just not going to be as, as stable. you got one bone here, one bone here, holding together by four ligaments. You take one out, it's, it, it can shuffle around, and, 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 and that's why. And supposedly with the ACL, it's the one that becomes the most un uh, unstable if you take that one out. So probably the most commonly injured. For, it, it, it probably the most commonly injured, too. So... So let's talk about some of the things. Uh, we've talked about the four ligaments. Um, how does an ACL injury happen? Uh, there's a number of ways it happens. Um, Brad? Yes? Let's move this over just yeah, for a yeah, second. Yeah. Okay, Brad's going to stand here. Let's get, why don't you stand right over here, Brad? Face the camera. Okay. Uh, one of the injuries that co quite commonly happens is if there's a front impact on the knee. Mm -hmm. that, and that, that will... Um, uh, you know, like in football or uh, rugby or right. any, any, any contact sport, mm -hmm. um, that will cause the ACL to be teared. Uh, also, a side impact from on the knee uh, can actually not only uh, damage the ACL, but also the MCL and also usually a lot of times the cartilage on the inside. Right. Um, if you plant, if, you, if you're running and you're de decelerating and you plant the foot and then turn, that uh, quick turn, especially on, on certain surfaces. Right. Usually knee going to the yeah. other side like that. It, it can cause the, the ACL to be torn or injured. Um, or the, the other one is if you're, you're a, bit, a little bit not kneed and, and you, you plant and you turn, it can cause the ACL to be injured. And that's why, one of the reasons actually why we often see it more often in women than men, because women have a wider pelvis generally and, and that causes a kind of a, uh, the appearance or the, the stresses of the knee to be a little bit not right. need. As a matter of fact, I was involved in a study with female basketball players because they have a very high incidence of ACL injuries. Um, yeah, there's more other reasons why the... Uh, on women we don't really want to get into the gender thing. Now. <laughs> let's, let's, yeah, because, you know, we want to stay friendly on both sides. That's so, right. Yeah. We treat all, all sides. Okay. So that's how you can hurt it, and then how are you, um, one of the problems is when you, uh, if you do hurt your ACL, they, they want to make sure that there's not, not other injuries that have occurred in, in addition. Uh, you want to make sure that you did not also, you know, injure one of the other ligaments or the, the cartilage that is in between. 
you know, there's a cushioning in between the knee called the meniscus, meniscus or yeah, the cartilage. Uh, there can be down. bone bruises, you know, there, there can be uh, um, right. other injuries. So that and all that will be determined by the uh, by the physician, your orthopedic doctors are very clear, MRIs, etc. Exactly. So now if you're going to have surgery, it's not actually, generally it's not a repair, it's actually a reconstruction. Mm. A repair would be meaning that they actually keep the, the current uh, ligament that you have. Right. And that might be a case where the ligament actually pulled out of the bone and pulled part of the bone with it, and they maybe could just screw it right back in sure. again. Um, but generally what they're actually doing is a reconstruction where they're actually going to take a graft, what they call a graft, and, and, and take a piece, generally it's a tendon. Now, what's the difference between a tendon and a ligament, Brad? Well, a tendon connects muscle to the bone, ligament right. connects bone to bone. Right. So if we have a muscle here, here's a, the, the belly of a muscle, and it, as it narrows up, it becomes a tendon and it attaches to the bone. Ligament, you know, here again, bone, bone, attaches bone to bone. So that's the difference. But these are actually very made up of very similar material. And so he is an incredible artist. You can see exactly what he's talking about there. Right. It's like Pictionary. Um, anyway, so what there's two there's two uh, ligaments that they basically take from generally. Let's look at the model. Yeah, let's look at the model now too. This is a good time to do this. Yeah. Uh, let's can you first, zoom in on this, Joey? This would be the uh, right knee, um, and this is the tibia. This is the femur, the big, the big bone. Quadriceps. Quadriceps. This would be your kneecap right here. Uh, this is the patella tendon. Um, so if we open up. And we take a look here. Can you zoom in, Joey? Now, just so you know, this patella tendon normally is attached yeah, this to is the bone. We took it off so that you can lift the patella up so you can actually see right in there at the, uh, here, what are we going to do here? Look at the, right in here, that is actually your ACL, your PCL, which crosses it, and the meniscus on top of the tibia plateau. Known as. So yeah. there's your anatomy. Joni's nodding, so she's uh, picking that all out. She's very happy. So that. this is going to be gone. They're much better than these so diagrams. So we need to replace this, and one of the replacements they use is actually this ligament right here. And this ligament, uh, I'm sorry, tendon. This is actually a tendon. What they do is they take the, the, the medial third. Uh, so they, they actually take the, the inside third of that. Where is he going? Uh, I just wanted to show you. They kind of they take their, they don't use a jackknife when it's in their pocket, but they would take their scalpel and literally cut here and then cut here and across here and across here and harvest that patella ligament from there and then they go. And what's nice there. about that? It's about the same length. Right. Your ACL. Mm -hmm. So that's one source. The other source would be and, and unfortunately we don't have it on here. Is uh, the hamstring, the hamstring right, tendon. Right. Um, with the hamstring tendon, tendon, uh, there's there's three muscles that make up your hamstring: semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and the biceps femoris. There you go. What they actually do is they take the tendon from the semitendinosus, semimembranosus. They take one from each, oh. and they they inter interwove them oh, to make one, like braiding, like braiding. Yep. Yep. And, and that I also wish, can be I used. I wish we had one of that on because see, because I wanted to use my scissors and show them cutting. Oh, sure. That would be really See, they, these are part sure. of my, my knife, see, right on my key. Yeah. So I can do surgery. <laughs> Just kidding. Please don't allow him on a plane. That's all I say. <laughs> so, that is how surgery would be done. And um, if you're not going to have surgery, again, the concern is that, um, that it, especially if it's torn, those bones are going to sh shift around, and you can actually get damage. Okay, so um, if you're going to go back into sports, it's most likely you're going to have to have surgery. Right. I don't know how you're going to get around it. Right. So what we would like to talk about now is is uh, and when you go back into sports, quite often you're going to have a, have a knee brace even after uh, the, the surgery for a while. What we're going to talk about now, just briefly, is some of the protocols that um, that are followed after after surgery. Okay, we're going to go through the protocol of rehab of an ACL and 
We don't have much time because Bob spent a lot of time, but he did a real nice job. But I only got two minutes here. So ACL protocol, Bob, don't talk, just say yes, okay? Yeah. Here we go. On the first one to two weeks, that's when the primary healing takes place, okay? And your weight bearing is going to be limited. Now, this, these protocols vary from surgeon to surgeon, so we're just giving you the overall. And these uh, uh, outline is pretty safe with all, all surgeries. So in the first one to two weeks, a lot of healing, not much, little bit of motion going, and weight bearing is typically weight bearing is tolerated, or no, or no weight bearing, that may vary. Once you get past that, things are starting to heal up, but they're still not strong, then you start working range of motion, you want to get that knee to bend. The first goal is 90 degrees, okay, and get full extension. So those are your first primary goals with range of motion. It's usually not very fun, it's a little painful with that. Uh, the therapist and pain medication will help you with that. And full then, extension, by the way, I know it's most done, is full straightening of the knee. All right. Okay. Then you open the brace up so you can start walking with the brace. More weight bearing. Weeks 4 to 12, depending on the rate of healing. You wean the brace, get rid of the brace, and start strengthening, usually with some resistance, some weights, etc. At that point, under the guidance of your therapist, and between weeks 8 and 20, higher level function activities. In other words, start to run, start to do some hopping, jumping, etc. And get to the point where you can get back out on the court or whatever your level is. Any other comments, Bob? Well, it's, it's, it's a long process. It's a lot of rehab. 